What's up everybody? In case it's your first time landing on my page or seeing any of my videos, uh, I do photography. Uh, the majority of my uh, income comes from real estate photography. Today, I wanted to do a test because I've been seeing this in these real estate groups that I'm a part of. Like they were wondering how the iPhone would handle uh, your typical real estate shoot. I usually shoot my real estate on a Lumix GF2 with the Panasonic 7 to 14. This is a micro four thirds camera, so it comes out to around a, a 14 millimeter lens on a full frame. But these new 11s have the ultra wide feature. So I have a blind test set up with the agent that I shot the property for, and she's gonna tell me which photos she likes better. I wanted to do a quick comparison. I don't wanna make this intro too long because I really just wanna to get to the photos. So I'm actually curious as to what you guys think. I've been shooting with this camera, with this Lumix GF2 for, for probably about a year and a half now. And the volume of my real estate photography is so high that it's compact, it's tiny, it's easy for me to get in and out of properties and it enables me to move through the properties much quicker. I know that real estate photography can get a lot more complicated. You can use external lighting, you can do window pulls. There's a big difference between a real estate photo shoot and an architectural portfolio photo shoot. I'm well aware of that. I figured out a method that works for me and the company that I work for, but um, I hope you get some value out of this and let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing I noticed with the iPhone 11 in ultra wide mode is that there definitely is distortion. And you can fix that in post, but I like to have to do as little of that as possible. The aspect ratio can be adjusted in the iPhone. I think I was shooting in four by three by accident. Uh, oh yeah, it, the iPhone does not shoot in RAW unless you get an external third party app. So I've never tried it before, but for real estate photography i need all the dynamic range and white balancing data that i can possibly have while i'm not going to start shooting real estate with my iphone i think it does make a great backup device i've had batteries on me die i've dropped a camera before and broke it and the job still needed to get done uh so yeah i'm i'm impressed 